BT has announced it is in preliminary talks with O2, which could mean the company re-entering the mobile phone market after an absence of 13 years. It's also eyeing a bid for EE, but it's understood it would only be allowed to buy one firm or the other. Sky's Rachel Younger has more on this now at the screen. A deal for O2 with CBT reunite with the business it spun off back in 2001 when mobile phones looked like that. Back then it was known as BT Cellnet. Now given the rapid growth in mobile communications, that move was soon seen to have been a strategic error. O2 was subsequently bought by Spain's Telefonica in 2005 for £17.7 billion. It became clear BT wanted to get back into the mobile business in February last year, when it spent £186 million on a licence for 4G. But BT's not just talking to O2. Britain's largest mobile operator, EE, which includes the Orange and the T-Mobile brands, has also confirmed it's discussing a possible deal. Now you can see why BT are interested. EE currently has 27 million mobile customers in the UK, while O2 has 24 million. And that translates to a hefty share of revenue. EE is the leader with a third, while second is O2 at just over a quarter. The discussions come as providers move towards offering a quad play of services, broadband, landline, pay television and mobile. But some industry experts think O2 could shed some customers if it returns to the BT fold. O2 did very well after being sold from BT. Um, in particular, it did particularly well in the youth market where the BT brand didn't, doesn't work very well. Rebranded to O2, gained significant market share in the mobile market. So to go back in again is, is slightly strange. BT's uh, brand no doubt has improved over the last 13 years, um, but nonetheless there was a risk of it losing some of those customers that O2 picked up. I'm going to bring you now the latest pictures that we have from Ferguson.